السلام علیکم اٹس انویزیبل شیڈو ہیئر ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو پش آور لب ان دا گیم ود اے نیو میتھڈ لب ڈیپینڈنسی میتھڈ سو ان دس وی ہیو سکس اسٹیپس سوری وی ہیو سکس اسٹیپس فسٹ آف آل وی ول نیڈ ٹو چینج آور لب نیم ان اینڈرائڈ ڈاٹ ایم کے ان آور پروجیکٹ اینڈ دین وی ول نیڈ ٹو گیٹ دا اوریجنل لب کریش سائٹ ڈاٹ ایس او آف دی گیم and uh, we will paste it in a folder that i will provide in the description and then we will use patchelf.exe to add dependency of our lib in the original lib of the game and the, uh, later we will patch crc of the output lib that we will get after adding dependency and uh, then we will update the crash fix offset uh, from lib benot in our main cpp and then we will push and uh, le- uh, we will check that our game is crashing or not like game will not crash so now let's start first of all we need to open the android.mk in uh, this is our project i have already given this project link in the previous uh, video description so just uh, edit it android.mk and he- this is the l- lib name okay you can type any name of your lib you can type any name for example i am um le- uh, let's write invis- invincible 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 here now our output lib name will be lib invincible dot so let's let's check so i will compile it it can take a little time because we have changed the name okay. now our lib is uh, here lib invincible.so now we need to copy it copy and paste it in this po- uh, in this folder patch elf invincible uh, i will provide this folder uh, in the description of the video here we need to paste it now we need to get the original lib crash site dot so of the game i already have it here in site dot so this is the lib this is the original lib of the game lib crash site dot so we need to copy it here okay now this is the command dot text i have written the whole command in this text file you just need to copy it um we need to uh, change the path here we can see this is the path of our uh, this exe and our libs so i will add the same path here like this and uh, then same path here you can change path and in, in your pc also but if you paste this folder in local disk c then you will not need to change the path you will just copy the command here and uh, here uh, just copy it and add in cmd and all done let me check okay now this is the patch elf exe and this is the command for this exe to add our lib okay this this is the uh, what is the name of our lib this is uh, the name of our lib i will copy it and we will add it here okay it is updated now we need to uh, we need to give the directory of the lib in which we are adding dependency we are adding in this lib so i already have written it lib crash site dot so now just copy it control c now we need to run cmd as administrator like this here here we will paste that command and press enter now you can see its size is 735 kb i will press enter and its size will change here you can see now its size is 756 kb now our uh, first step is done now we will implement the original crc of libcrashsite.so to this lib crash site dot so because its crc is now changed so let me let me copy this lib crash site dot so control c copy 
first we will take it to our bypass uh, our project folder here now we will change its crc so first we will need to get the original crc this is the libgrisite.so we will uh, we will check its crc right click 7zip you will need to install 7zip in your pc to use this crc sh crc32 double uh, click on it here it is double click on it and this is the crc of original uh, libgrisite.so now let's check the crc of uh, our patched uh, lib here if i will check it crc it will be different because it is changed here you can see it is 72762 and here it is c15 the original is c15 and it is uh, 762 so i will copy it now we will go to our bypass uh, project folder yeah and this is the crc manip uh, crc changer here we will write the original crc uh, original crc of the original lib and from here we need to get the lib uh, to which we are implementing this crc and then patch here here you got the lib the final lib now this lib is uh, this lib is just like the original lib uh, we just added the dependency of our lib like when this lib will load in inside the game it will also load our lib inside the game also in game memory now we will copy it delete the previous lib and paste it here like this now all done now we will do some changes in our start gear bat file here first we will uh, we were uh, pushing libmarsx log but now we will not uh, push libmarsxlog.so we will push our libinvincible.so this lib now we need to also we will push uh, the other lib that is libgrisite.so to load this uh, to load our lib in the game memory We will need to change this path also because libgrasite site is present in in this path. Okay, now this step is done. Now uh, we will update the uh, crash fix offset in our main CPP. I will remove all other hooks for now just to show you that everything is working fine here uh, let's update this offset from libbenot.so this is the offset control c here we can check the function also so this is the offset and we will need to press uh, we will need to add a uh, one in the offset also because uh, it's a thumb function a b c d e and f okay now this offset is also updated
Now we will compile our project again. Okay, uh, let me add something. Here I will add some log, log command. So we can know that our uh, lib is loaded inside the game and the, uh, the game is not crashed because I will not show the game in, in on my screen because of reports by the game. Bypass is loaded successfully and it is locked. It is working fine. I, I am not showing the game window because uh, there's a chance of report by the game. I think there's a problem in our main CVV. Now the bypass is working perfectly. The game is loaded. The game will not crash also. I will blur this thing. As you can see the game is not crashing. Everything is fine. Okay, goodbye, take care.